What's up, gang? I am here in Orlando in a washroom, change room idea. The room is not ready at the resort yet. So, just did a Superman in the phone booth idea changing in here, but we are off to what I think is the coolest dining experience in all of Disney. It's 2.30 p.m., so we're having kind of a late lunch. If you want to make reservations at a place like this or anywhere in Disney for that matter, please try 90 days in advance. 90, not kidding. It might take that long. Anyhow, I can't wait to show you that this is day one we are here for five days in the parks and then one day at the Kennedy Space Center which is gonna be super cool so let's go eat this restaurant is located inside Disney's Hollywood Studios so this park is the third Disney park in Orlando that was opened in 1989 and it spans 135 acres drawing inspiration from the golden age of Hollywood Hollywood Studios is home to the rock and roller coaster by Aerosmith and and the Tower of Terror, which are the two most popular rides in Hollywood Studios. Also, Toy Story Land here, where everything is built to be as if you were a tiny toy. I didn't do much of anything in Toy Story Land, but I think the most popular ride there would definitely be the Slinky Dog Roller Coaster. So if you're planning on visiting Toy Story Land, grab a fast pass for that as soon as possible. And because it's me, I am always looking for healthy food options. And in Hollywood Studios, there is this little animal Anaheim Produce kiosk where you can get giant refrigerated dill pickles, which <laughs> it's not really my snack of choice or these little clementines were there and also some fresh pineapple fresh melon bottles of water things that you know that can hydrate you and keep you a little bit more full on something healthier this is the Aerosmith rock and roller coaster hugely hugely popular i 100 percent recommend getting a fast pass for this ride it was incredibly fun and not to worry i have not forgotten about you perhaps wondering what the heck fast passes at disney are are like and how do you get them how do you use them so if you would like to see that info and about Star Wars land watch to the end and I will share all of that and now for the absolute coolest dining experience in all of Disney according to myself who does not have children this is not one of those character dining experiences that's not for me love all the characters though but this is such an awesome place for adults and kids alike kids love this place and it's pretty cool to show them something like this so this restaurant restaurant is actually inside a gigantic soundstage at the MGM Studios, now called Hollywood Studios, and it is modeled after a 1950s drive-in theater. They do not let you see any of the inside of the restaurant as it is a completed soundstage until you are seated at your table. And here you've got popcorn as an appetizer that is served for free to everyone waiting. If you get a reservation, please check in here when you arrive. And in the meantime, you can just eat popcorn and check out things like this phone and accompanying phone book. What? Do you remember those? The menu is really easy to get along with here. It's, you know, it's the classic American fare. So you have sandwiches, burgers, salads, awesome appetizers, classic milkshakes. They do serve alcohol here. It's just an all around really easy menu to appeal to anyone that's eating here, whether they are an adult or a kid. I have never been disappointed. I've never been here with anyone that was disappointed. So as I said, this restaurant is designed to look like a 1950s drive-in theater and the screen plays clips from movies such as Frankenstein meets the space monster, Plan 9 from Outer Space, Attack of the 50-Foot Woman, and the classic snack bar ads that we all know and love from the old school drive-in theaters when we were actually there in real life if you have been to one. If not, I recommend going to this <laughs> instead of even going to a real one because it is more authentic. You will need reservations for this restaurant. I tried to book a couple weeks out and I landed one at 2.30 p.m. on a random weekday. You really want to be booking at least three months, 90 days in advance to get a reservation time that will appeal to you. Each car sits six people in seats of two each, not facing each other. You are all facing the screen. So yeah, I highly recommend this. I had the croissant 
croissant. It was a turkey sandwich croissant. All of the food is incredibly fresh. Very, very delicious. The fries are out of this world with the way they season them, the way they cook them. Really, there is no trip to Hollywood Studios theme park at Disney World without a chance to eat at this awesome restaurant. They've got some really fun drinks as well on the menu that you won't find anywhere else, more specialty style things. And here's the ad I was talking about for the snack bar that we all remember. And I think, I'm pretty sure they still actually play this exact ad at the drive-in theater in real life these days. Here comes my dinner. So this was the roast turkey sandwich. The turkey was freshly roasted and cut. The vegetables were absolutely fresh. The tomato, lettuce, bacon was awesome. It wasn't like the ready cook microwaved kind. It was actually proper. They this had so much flavor, I cannot even describe. As promised, here is Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. This is a themed area inspired obviously by the Star Wars franchise. This is located at both the Disneyland Park in Anaheim, California, as well as the Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida in the Disney's Hollywood Studios Park. So the same park we've been in today in this video. This area encompasses 14 acres at each park. Galaxy Galaxy's Edge is set within the village of Black Spire Outpost from the movies on the wild frontier planet of Batu, and features attractions, shops, restaurants, and entertainment offerings. The lands were announced in August 15th of 2015. Construction at both parks began on April 14th, 2016. The Disneyland version opened in May of 2019, and this one here at Hollywood Studios opened on August 29th, 2019. Your admission to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is included in your admission to the Hollywood Studios Park at Disney. And if you noticed the rise in cost for the tickets to Disney, this would be contributing to that price increase. However, it is absolutely so beyond worth it, especially if you are a Star Wars fan. Personally, never was a Star Wars fan. However, this place absolutely blew my mind for the accuracy, the attention to detail. It is next level. So they do serve alcohol in this park. Alcohol is extremely difficult to come by at Disney because Disney did ixnay alcohol and smoking from the parks. However, you can find beer here and they do not have regular beer that you and I would recognize. They serve their own craft beer. I personally am not a fan of craft beer, so I cannot even tell you if it was very good or not. This is Docking Bay 7 where the beer is located and this is also an awesome place to go eat, especially if you have little ones. There is a lot of variety on this menu and there was a lot of seating available inside seating there's patio seating outside it's just really an awesome place to get some nosh as you look around the patio for this Docking Bay 7 restaurant, I wanted to get into the Fast Pass thing. Okay, so Fast Passes in all of the Disney parks are 100% free. You need to download the My Disney Experience app. This is what the app looks like. You download this app and then you are allowed three Fast Passes booked per day at a time though. So that means that you can book more than three in a day, but you're only allowed three at a time. So as soon as you've used one on any ride, go right back on your app and look for another ride with another available spot. You should be booking fast passes up to three months in advance. I didn't book any until we got there and I was pleasantly surprised with being able to score fast passes for some of the rides. If you're gonna go for the more popular rides though, get on that ASAP. And one more thing, this is the new gondola transportation system at Disney World Orlando. This goes between some of the major parks and some of the major resorts. And it is super awesome, but please make sure you check Check out beforehand which parks and which resorts have this and where the get on and get off points are. And there you have it. That was our trip to Disney's Hollywood Studios. One time that was my least favorite park out of all of the Disney parks in Orlando. You know, it still is my least favorite. However, it's an awesome place to go for food. Now there's Star Wars Land, now there's Toy Story Land. So it has definitely improved over the years. Anyhow, if you thought this video was helpful, informative, 
supportive or entertaining at all, please hit the thumbs up down there as that lets me know what kind of content to keep producing for you. If you would like notifications of each time I post a new video, hit the little bell notification icon down there and you will be notified each time I upload. Please, please subscribe to this channel. Subscribing really is where all of the support comes from and share the channel because aside from videos like this, there are a whole bunch of videos on this channel that can help anyone overcome more than 90% of any health, wellness, or body image challenge. So until next time, have super amounts of fun in your life. Have super amounts of fun exploring new places while you travel, and I'll see you next time. Bye.